boys and girls, it's me, Elias, and today we're going to read a new book. Can you see the title of the book right here? The Big Blue Sea by Janine Scott. And what do you think this book is about? The oceans or the sea. That's right. Okay, so let's get started. The Big Blue blue sea. Do you see anything on this picture right here? Hmm. Yes, some fish. Some fish that are swimming. Where? In the big blue sea. All right, let's go on to the next page. Here is one fish. And what color is this fish? Yellow. That's right. And this fish is called a butterfly fish like a nabi, nabi sing song. But actually, I don't think that's how it translates in English, uh, into Korean. I think it's just butterfly fish. A little fish lives in the big blue sea. Everyone, repeat after me. A little fish lives in the big blue sea. All right, good. Here's our friend swimming in the big blue sea. And do you see these red things around him? These are called sea fans, and they are a type of coral, sanho. All right, let's go on. Oh, here's another friend. Do you know what this is? This is a sea turtle, padakobo. And he's, do you think he's big or small compared to the butterfly fish? That's right, very, very big. And there he is swimming in the big blue sea. A big turtle lives in the big blue sea. Everyone repeat after me. A big turtle lives in the big blue sea. Good. There he is swimming deep into the ocean. Then we have this. Do you know what this is? Is this a fish? No. This is a starfish. Not just a fish, but a starfish. And it really doesn't swim. It kind of crawls along the bottom of the ocean floor. Do you know what starfish is in Korean? Sure you do. Pulgasari. That's right. Very good. A little sea star lives in the big blue sea. And let me just say, sea star is the same as starfish. So sea star is the same as starfish. It's just a different way to say the same word. And there he is on the bottom of the ocean floor, crawling around looking for food. We can see him right there. He's really pretty, right? Very colorful. Most starfishes or sea stars are not this beautiful. But there he is, right there. How many legs does he have? One, two, three, four, five. Five legs. Oh, do you know what this is? This is a jellyfish. Do you know what jellyfish is in Korean? No? Hepari. Hepari, or a jellyfish, they don't really swim, but they kind of like float. They float in the ocean and let the ocean carry them to different places. A big jellyfish lives in the big blue sea. Everyone repeat with me. A big jellyfish lives in the big blue sea. Good. There he is floating around in the big blue sea. And here you can see some more coral in the background. There's a lot of coral in this picture. There's some right here, some right here, and some right there. And there he is in the big blue sea floating, floating around. And then there's this. Do you know what this is? This is a seahorse. And the seahorse is known as a what in Korean? Do you know? Hema. That's right, Hema. And he has two little 
like fins on the side of his body that help him move through the water. A little seahorse lives in the big blue sea. Everyone repeat with me. A little seahorse lives in the big blue sea. And there he is, swimming around these little things right here. These are not really coral, but these are like algae. E-A-L-G-A-E. -E. Algae is kind of like hecho, like seaweed, or kind of like kim, what we eat at dinner with our rice, right? So seaweed and this are very, very close to each other, algae. Seahorses really love algae because they cling onto them with their tails and they just like to sway back and forth, back and forth. Oh, then we have this. Do you know what this is? This is an octopus, Muno. Look at how big it is. Do you see its big head right here? Whoa, look at that, it's so big. And it's got two big eyes right here. He's looking at us. And if we get too close, his legs, how many legs does he have? Eight, eight legs. His legs might grab us and then hold us and we can't, we can't get free. So this is an octopus. A big, big octopus lives in the big blue sea. Everyone repeat with me. A big, big octopus lives in the big blue sea. There he is swimming along. And it's really interesting how they swim. They kind of glide. G-L-I-D-E. Like this. They kind of glide through the ocean. So, boys and girls, what we've learned today are about big animals that live in the big blue sea and little animals that live in the big blue sea. Big animals and little animals live together in the big blue sea. Everyone read with me. Big animals and little animals live together in the big blue sea. And looking at this page, can you see some animals that are big? Here's some, or here's one. Can you see some little animals? There's one right here, one right here. And do you see one more? <gasps> yeah, sure you do. Look closely, it's right here. Look at him right there. So, tell me, what is this called, everyone? A sea turtle, that's right, padakobo. And then we have this, which is a seahorse, hema. And then we have a butterfly fish. And last, the sea star or starfish, pulgasari. All right. So, out of these one, two, three, four animals that you see on this page, which one is the biggest? That's right. The sea turtle, it's the biggest. Good job. All right. All right, boys and girls, so we're almost to the end of our book. And here on this page, we have two last sea creatures. We have this one, which is the jellyfish, the hepari. And then we have this one right here, which is the octopus. And there are his eyes, right there. Octopus, Muno, whoa. Which one out of these two is the biggest? That's right, the octopus, very good. Now, here are some little animals and some big animals. Here we have the butterfly fish, remember? The sea star, or starfish, and the seahorse, all right? There's a fish, a sea star, and a seahorse. And then down here, we have some big animals. 
We have the sea turtle, the padakobo, the jellyfish, hepari, and the big octopus, muno. Turtle, jellyfish, octopus. All right? So I hope you've learned a lot about the different types of little animals and big animals that live in the big blue sea. Thank you, and see you later. Bye-bye.